when Jenna died, the grandmother, I understood that there were a lot of kids like, like Jenna and decided to do something for them. Because Jenna had the financial means, but the other kids don't. And those kids need to uh, help every single day of their life. For these kids who are physically challenged in all aspects, and um, are in a wheelchair, they're over 80, so there's nowhere else to be set for home. But we're still seeing changes. They were a little bit introverted at first, you know, but then they realized that they can relax and be their themselves. They are happy to be here. It's good because Christina never used to have other disabled children to interact with. So it's good for the um, for them to interact with other children. They seem like that. They're seeing these other kids that have disabilities. Some might be stronger, some might be weaker. But they see them and they're like, okay, well I'm not the only person. Most of the kids here their moms do everything. Uh, sometimes the dads are not in the picture. When I came here, I felt good about myself because I'm saying I am here, I am helping out parents that otherwise don't have anybody to look after their children. There's not a lot of places for cerebral palsy, not not just disabled, because to me disabled is like a wide variety, but to focus on the cerebral palsy children kids are is something that is really impressive and I am very proud to be a part of it.